good morning all let us continue our learning of the subject discrete mathematics uh, today's topic being discussed is partial orderings under relations uh, the reference material being used is uh, prescribed textbook kenneth h rosen and few of the links Uh, especially calcworkshop.com on partial ordering so this is our topic partial ordering okay so any relation say r on a set s is called partial ordering or partial order if it is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive the set s and the relation r which is partially ordered together are called as partially ordered set or poset and is denoted by s comma r in the bracket the members of the set s are called as the elements of poset now this is a symbol for partially ordered set poset which is like less than sign any relation will be a partial order relation okay and uh, which are having this properties which properties reflexive antisymmetric and transitive but if you look at the types of partial order relations we have less than or equal to subset divisibility okay here the word comparable and incomparable indicate comparable means ordered and uh, un incomparable means unordered or in ordered okay uh let us say there is a poset and we say that every two elements of the set s are comparable then s is called as the totally ordered set it is also called as linearly ordered set or chain uh say for example you have a set of integers and the relationship is to be maintained is less than or equal to this is a totally ordered set because every element a and b in the set maintains this relation either a is coming before b or b is coming before a showing some order a partially ordered set is a well ordered set okay uh, such that there is total ordering and every non empty subset s has a least element for example a set of natural numbers and the relationship to be maintained is less than or equal to so here either a is uh, coming before b or b is coming before a okay and that is valid for all the elements in the set of natural numbers let us uh, try to understand how to draw a hess diagram because this is how we represent the posets uh, the procedure to draw a hess diagram is very very simple first draw a directed graph and you can see here in the directed graph this blue colored ones are self loops this red colored one is transitive line and this you have arrows to all of them okay so the first step in converting a directed graph to a hess diagram is uh, remove the self loop so these blue lines will vanish so if they vanish so you have this relation the second step is remove all transitivity so this red line will vanish so transitivity has gone the next is remove these arrows so if you remove these arrows this becomes my hess diagram now let us take one example and we have a poset a or a bar b and it has to maintain this condition or constant a divides b on 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 this is my set 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 so what constant is to be maintained a divides by b so 1, 1 division is possible 1, 2 1, 3 1, 4 all divisions are possible till 1, 6 coming to 2 2, 2 division possible 2, 4 division possible 2, 3 division not possible so 2, 3 is not there so next is 2, 4 2, 6 3, 3 division is possible 3, 4 division is not possible so 3, 4 is not there so 3, 6 is there as the division is possible 4, 4 division is possible 4 
फोर कॉमा सिक्स डिविजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो फोर कॉमा सिक्स इज नॉट देर सिक्स सिक्स कॉमा सिक्स डिविजन इज पॉसिबल सो दिस इज माई रिलेशन नाउ फॉर दिस रिलेशन आई कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट अ डायग्राफ लाइक दिस यू कैन सी हियर यू हैव वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सो दीज आर द वर्टाइस वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सिक्स एंड यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन वी कैन पुट द आर्क्स वन कामा वन वी पुट ए ब्लू लाइन सेल्फ लूप टू कामा टू वी पुट अ ब्लू लाइन सेल्फ लूप थ्री कामा थ्री वी पुट अ ब्लू लाइन सेल्फ लूप फोर कामा फोर वी पुट अ ब्लू लाइन सेल्फ लूप सिक्स कामा सिक्स वी पुट अ ब्लू लाइन सेल्फ लूप पोज दैट यू हैव वन कामा टू दिस ग्रीन लाइन वन कामा थ्री दिस ग्रीन लाइन वन कामा फोर दिस ग्रीन लाइन but 1 comma 6 is in red line to indicate transitivity similarly you have 2 comma 4 green line 2 comma 6 green line 3 comma 3 already self loop is mentioned 3 comma 6 green line 4 comma 4 self loop mentioned 6 comma 6 self loop mentioned so how many transitivity lines are there one is 1 comma 4 and the other one is 1 comma 6 1 comma 6 now this is my diagraph how to convert this diagraph into hash diagram first remove this blue colored lines which are self loops then remove this red colored lines which are transitivity then remove the arrows so that brings your hash diagram in this fashion now for a poset there is something called as a maximal element minimal element greatest element and least element okay so if we call something as a maximal element okay so uh, the condition for maximal element is that b comes before a if i want to call a as a maximal element a will be called a greatest element for all b in a uh, they come before a a will be called as a minimal element okay or uh, 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 when a comes before b or b and a are not comparable a is called as a least element for all b is a is coming before b so let us try to take this further now if you look at this haze diagram i can say the maximal elements are c d e the least element is a the minimal element also is a in this case there is no least element but there is a maximal element called as de and there is a minimal element called as ab there is no greatest here if i look at first figure and third figure the figure is similar but the orientation has changed by making e as maximal when e becomes maximal okay there is no such thing called as least but minimal will be abc minimal will be abc and the greatest will be e only similarly in this case e is maximal a is the least and greatest is the e so this is how hash diagrams are used to represent uh, the posets